today we're looking at natural logs how to work with natural logs we've got four questions which we're going to go through and apply it so first one it says solve e to the power of x equals 5 e to the power of 2x plus 6 equals 3 we've got ln of 2x plus 3 equals that and this one so to solve this first we need to understand that the e is like the base of a natural law so for example when we write ln ln stands for natural law so if i say ln x then what ln x actually means is taking the log of e of x so it means the e is the base of our natural law that is why when we take e of ln they cancel out because it means we are taking like before last week we said that if we take the log of base 4 of 4 that is the same as writing 1 so whenever we take the e of the ln it goes away it cancels out because it becomes like 1 so this is the reason why when we take e of ln it cancels out or when we take ln of e it cancels out so that is the first thing that we need to understand that the e is your natural log base whenever we have that so bearing this in mind then we're going to solve this question pretty much straightforward and easy because it starts with e and we are looking for the x which is the power then it means we reverse it back from here to this place which means we will take the length on both sides so what it means is that if i have e to the power of x equal to 5 and i take the length of both sides i'm going to have length e to the power of x equals length of 5. so we can see that we've got length of e which means it's going to be log base 4 of 4 because this part here simply means i have log of this e e to the power of what x equals length of 5. so my e to e cancels out which gives me the one so in this particular side we'll be left with just x equals your length of 5 and then you put this on your calculator and it gives you what the final answer is so x equals length of 5 so on your calculators length of 5 is the same as writing it as log base e of 5 and we know e is a constant it's like pi e is a number like 2.71 it's long as pi and because there is no number that you can square root it or anything to get the 2.71 that long number of the e that is why we always consider the e to be the natural base of log because we cannot compute to get that exact number that is why we need the e as that so in this question x equals len 5 if you want the exact answer you just put len 5 on your calculator and it will give you the answer okay then we come back to this side it's the same principle as that side except we do a bit more working here than this side here so if we've got this again by applying this law we can take the natural law the length of both sides so this one will become length of e to the power of 2x plus 6 equals length of 3 remember it's equation so whatever you do to the left we do the same to the right hand side so our length and the e becomes 1 so in books they say it cancels out it cross out so we'll be left to 2x plus 6 equals length of 3 we want x so in this case we would have 2x you send the 6 to this side or in the same as doing minus 6 minus 6 on that side so 2x will be equal to length 3 minus 6 therefore x will become length of 3 take away 6 everything divided by 2 and at this point your calculator will give you the answer so i'm not going to waste time to put this on the calculator we all know how to do that using our calculator then the third question this time it begins with length not e going by the same principle here if it begins with length it means we can take the e of the length which will still cancel it out so in this case we will not take the length we we'll do the inverse which means we take the e 
So here we take the e of ln of 2x plus 3 equals e of 4. So that the ln and the e crosses, which becomes 1, you'll be left with 2x plus 3 equals e to the power of 4, or e of 4. Then we want x, so we have 2x equals e of 4 minus 3. That means x will be e of 4, take away 3, divide by 2. Again, let's put that on your calculator. The e symbol is on your calculator. I think it's the shift of the length. And you see the e on your calculator. And then the power will come. If you don't know how to get the power, you can even use the small box symbol on your calculator and then put in the 4 minus 3 to give you the answer of that. But this part here works differently. So this, because we've got it as 2 lin x plus 1 equals 5. Think of it as solving normal equation, whereby you are given, if I write this as 2y plus 1 equals 5. If you were to solve this equation, what you would do is, you will first do take away 1 on both sides. So it becomes minus 1 minus 1. So we have 2y equals 4. Then we divide everything by 2. So our y will be equal to 2 in this sense, if this was a normal equation. There is no difference between this and that one. The only difference is that if I compare this question to this question, the length x has become my what? Y. So even if you're an exam, you are confused of how to do the length, you can rewrite the question in this way. So here I can say length x equal to my y, which means length x equal to 2, because y is equal to what? 2. Because it's length, I can take the e of both sides. So I can take e of length x, and then the same thing, e of 2, which means that goes to 1, so our x is equal to e of 2, and you put it on your calculator. So even in an exam, if you are confused, you can write this type of questions in this way. But let's do it as it is in the form there. Just, this was just for you to see how differently we could think of the question. But to answer it, we still end up with the same solution anyway. We could have, so we have 2 ln x plus 1 equal to 5, solving normal equation, minus 1 here, minus 1 there. So we end up with 2 ln x equal to 4. So we want ln x. It means we have to get rid of the 2 at the front over there, which means we divide by 2, divide here by 2. So you end up with ln x equal to 2. Then take your e of both sides. So we would have e of ln x equals e of 2. So that goes away and your x will be that. And you can just put that on your calculator. These questions can be asked in so many different ways. You could have some that are in the form of quadratic equation where you have to take the e's and then the numerator, the powers will form a quadratic equation. But the best thing to understand is that the natural log of x is the same as log with e as the base. And that is why when you have length, we take the e, the exponent of that. When we have the e, we take the length of that. They cancels out and we can solve any question with regards to natural laws. So that is how easy, that is how simple that natural law questions can also be given or natural law questions could be asked in terms of how it is done in this way. Okay, so that is all that we need to understand and easily be able to do any questions. So we're going to try some of the questions in the textbook and then if there is any difficulties we will work together as we go along. So that is all. Thank you.